Hi, I'm Todd Fratzel from HomeConstructionImprovement.com. Today I want to talk to you about a really great new system that Rockler is selling. It's their shutter system. Have you ever um, wanted to build really beautiful uh, wooden plantation shutters, both fixed and movable louvers? Well, today it's really, really easy thanks to the folks at Rockler who have created a very easy to use system for you to build your own wooden shutters at home. It's really simple. It starts off, you take some measurements of your window, you go online to Rockler's website, they have this really easy to use calculator, you enter in the window dimensions and decide what type of shutter you want, what size louvers you want, and it gives you a complete set of blueprints. So I, I built a set of uh, shutters for the workshop here and I went online, I entered all the dimensions, they gave me all these blueprints they give you an easy step-by-step -step guide within the kit that tells you how to build these shutters. And then they give you this kit with these great jigs in it to help you build shutters that really work and look extremely professional. So you can also buy the wooden louvers from Rockler directly. They have a really nice shutter profile to it. There are several sizes to choose from. Uh, you can buy all the hardware and necessary clips and pins and whatnot that you need to build these shutters. And they'll also help you with uh, special drill bits, router bits, everything you need to build a set of shutters. The only materials you'll need to source and supply yourself are some basic wood components to build the styles and rails. And again, that stuff is really easy. You can get it at your lumber yard. They give you all the dimensions inside this, the width, the thickness, the lengths of all the pieces and parts. There's no mystery, and it's really straightforward as long as you have some basic woodworking skills. You will need a table saw, you will need a drill, and you'll, prop, and you'll need a router. Short of that, the rest of it are basic tools, measuring, pencils, things of that nature, sanding. Um, but really, if you have a basic shop with a table saw, router, and a drill, you've got some basic skills, you too can build a set of really great shutters. And I'm going to show you how I did mine in this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed learning how I built my shutters with the Rockler Shutter System. The next step in building wooden shutters like this is cutting all of the material down to the proper width. Here I'm using my Delta Unisaw to rip down boards to the proper width according to the plan supplied by Rockler. The next step is cutting each of those pieces to the proper length, again following the plan. Here I'm using my miter saw, but you could also use your table saw to cross cut each of these pieces to the proper length. To make the shutters you're going to have several components that you need to make. So the the instructions call for both the bottom and a top rail assembly and uh, the top one has a rabbit taken out of it so when the louver closes it can close um, flush to the other ones and that that rabbits on the front side whereas the bottom one it's actually on the back side those can be done with a dado by by running the piece through the table saw in two directions uh, multiple ways you could do it both of these also call for a uh, chamfered corner here which you know you can see here again I just did that on the miter saw set up a stop block so that they all get cut the same and then so that's the two the top and bottom rails you'll be making that's all made out of five quarter stock then the rails for the for the shutters these again are all specified the dimensions so it's a piece of five quarter ripped down and then it has a simple beaded edge on it Rockler supplied a uh, router bit for that. Real easy, just set up your router. You can run it right, right along the top, take this out, or you can use a router table. So once you have those components made, there's one other piece, and it's the control arm. And again, they give you dimensions, and it's, it's half inch by five eighths. Rip that out of uh, some leftover material from the styles and the rails. It has a little rounded end on it that fits into a, a keyhole at the top of the, the rail. So that's really it for fabricating the styles and rails for the shutter system. So after you've uh, ordered all your materials for the shutters, one of the things you're going to order from Rockler most likely are the louvers. And they're going to send them to you all uh, packaged up like this. They will have cut them to a rough dimension slightly larger than what you're going to need. 
which is actually a good thing because they just cut them on a rough saw. The ends are all kind of rough and not very square. So you're going to want to take them apart and um, you know trim them, trim them to length on, on a miter saw and uh, get them all ready for drilling and putting together these shutters. Once all the styles are cut and detailed with the beaded edge, the next step is going to be drilling holes in the styles to hold the shutter louvers. And so Rockler has this great little jig, comes uh, with the kit, and it's set up for drilling both sides, both rails at the same time. So what you do is you follow the directions, you create your layout marks, and then it tells you exactly whether or not you're doing a fixed or movable shutter, which holes to drill in. And Rockler also sells these special drill bits that have a bushing and a guide bearing on it so that you can insert them into the template, do the drilling, they're set to the correct depth, there's no guesswork, and that's how you drill all the holes for the louvers so that you have these movable louvers. Or, in the case of a fixed shutter, it's all set up for a fixed shutter um, with two pins in each rail. So I'm preparing to drill the holes for the louvers in the side rails for the, for the shutter project. And I'm going to use this jig that Rockler's given us. And basically the way the jig works is they've got this line here that's etched in top of the plastic. And it says, there's a little note here, a line with top rail. So I've measured the width of my top rail, which is this piece here that I've previously um, fabricated. And it's the, total, it's the total width of this without the without the dado in it. So I've lined that up and then basically it's going to be really easy now that I've clamped the two pieces together to the to the um, jig. I'm going to drill where it says movable because I'm doing movable shutters. I'm going to drill these pair of indexed holes all the way down through for the entire length. And basically once you start the first one is an inch and a half down from the inside face of the top rail each consecutive line of holes is three inches apart. So we're going to uh, drill those holes out using the, the special drill bit and the bushing that uh, Rockler sent. So here, here's the special drill bit that uh, Rockler supplies. It has a little bushing and it has a preset depth on it so that you can drill the holes to the right depth and you can use the template. So it's as simple as inserting it into the template drilling down till it bottoms out and then just do the next one and you just continue down through the jig until all the holes are done it's as simple as that Rockler also provides a template for drilling the end pin holes into the louvers so you, you can clamp them on I found that I can actually you know I've got it all set up I can actually just do it by hand uh, really easy to do everything centered Again, you use the, the drill bit. This is a different size that they send with the kit. And uh, you just drill out both sides and it's all set for the pins to go into the louvers. Simple as that. We'll also take this jig and we will use it to install um, a hole at the center for the, the control arm. So I still got to mark these out, but we'll mark a position in the center and we'll drill another hole through the face and that'll be used for the control arm. And that's all there is to prepping this. Okay, now the next step is to uh, put these little pins into all the louvers so that the louvers can actually operate. So we're gonna, uh, we've got the holes that we pre-drilled before. This pin just slides into that hole and um, fits up snug against it. And you just keep feeding that for each one of the louvers so you've got all the pins in and then those pins will fit into the holes that we previously drilled into the styles. Pretty simple. So I'm getting ready to assemble the shutter frame and what I've done, I've decided to use pocket screws to assemble my frame, um, especially because it's here in the shop and I don't really mind if and no one's going to see the back of the frame. Probably the better thing to do is to use a biscuit or a domino or something like that to join the frames. But uh, for me, I'm not so worried about anybody seeing back there except for maybe the flies. So what I've done is I've attached the frame on one side only. I've glued it up 
I'll put my pocket screws in and I'm going to pull this apart now the other side because the trick here is you've got to stick the louvers in line up the holes to put the second side of the frame in it's actually pretty challenging and really the only difficult part of this whole process so let me get set up and I'll show you kind of how we're going to put this thing together. Okay, so I'm getting ready to assemble this and a couple things to know. I'm assembling this thing upside down because of the way I have to put the pocket screws together. If you're using a biscuit or a domino, you could do this in the other direction. So um, the key here is I'm going to get all the, all, I'm going to set all the louvers in one side of the frame, the side that I've already attached. I'm going to get them all facing the correct direction and by that I just mean that they're all going to lay the same way the hole for the control arms facing the same way and we're just going to get this thing kind of mocked up um, because we, we have to carefully assemble the last rail with the um, with the louvers in place which can be a little bit of a challenge so there's a louver there that I'm going to have to redo. So I'm just going to set all these in here and then we'll come right back and, and I'll show you how we're going to put the frame together and get this thing all set. Okay, I've got all the louvers laid out into the side of the frame that's already attached. And you can see here now I've got all these pins that I'll need to line up inside the holes on this rail. At the same time, I need to get everything squared and glued up and screwed together. So, like I said, this is the tricky part, getting this put together. You have to play around with it. You're probably going to swear a couple times, but uh, it can be done. I've done it. And uh, once we do that, then then the frame will we'll attach the frame. The frame will be, uh, we'll let it sit overnight, let the glue dry up, and then we'll work on the control arm last. The last step in assembling the shutters is connecting the control arm to the individual louvers using small barbed wire metal connectors inserted into the previously drilled holes using a pair of pliers. This part of the project was actually quite tedious and the overall design of it's not all that great. It's my only complaint with this system and I hope Rockler will find a better solution for future kits. Once the shutters are fully assembled, the only step left is hanging them in the window opening. To do this, I used three small hinges on each shutter and screwed them to the window jams as indicated on the initial design plans. As you can see, the shutters look great and they fit the opening perfectly. The best part is, these shutters actually work. You can operate them up or down to control the amount of light in the room, just like a normal plantation shutter you might buy in the store. The shutters are easy to open and close and let additional light in or let air into the room, whatever your preference, but I really think they work great and these are just as good as any you could buy in the store. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, short little uh, video series that I put together on building wooden shutters using the Rockler uh, wooden shutter building system. Um, it's a great little kit, they have a great service online, get you all the parts, all the little tools you need. Uh, if you're contemplating building wooden plantation style shutters for your home, I highly recommend this system. Again, Rockler, uh, they've got everything you need to help you with the whole process, that all the design measurements, everything you need, they can set you up with, get you the full set of prints and everything. So if you're, if you're looking to build some shutters like this and save a few bucks, I really recommend you check out their system. Thanks again for uh, checking out this tutorial. We'll have a lot more here at uh, homeconstructionimprovement.com. I hope you come see us again in the future.